Hey guys, what's up? It is Walking on Tree Tour here and welcome back to another reading, you guys. Before we get into this video, do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button because that will help us out a lot over here as we continue to grow. All right, and make sure that you join the Patreon community for exclusive content because listen, there's a lot of hot tea that's piping over on Patreon that's not available on YouTube. So make sure that you do check it out and join the conversation. All right, join the conversation that's happening over there. So for tonight's reading, we're doing a birthday party, birthday party. Do it like it's your beat day, baby. Do it like it's your beat day. Do it like it's your beat day. <laughs> we're doing a reading for uh, Selena Gomez because she is turning 30 tomorrow. Hopefully I'm on time when I drop this reading. It's currently after 11 o'clock on the 21st. It's Thursday night. So hopefully I get to drop this tonight for everyone to get it for tomorrow if it's already tomorrow if it's already the, in the if we're already in the future what's up <laughs> baby boy leave the best life why you tripping on me acting like i gave a fuck where your dick be right do it like it's your b-day baby she turned into dirty 30 so let's see what is in store what's going to be her energies for her 30th birthday weekend I do have some quick uh, messages here for her birthday, especially her birthday weekend. She's going to be focusing on what's important or she's going to be focusing on what's important for the rest of her for her 30th year. Right. Focusing on the importance prior to prioritizing what is the most important in her life. And also competition did come up as well. I don't know what the competition is where she feels that she's competing what areas in her life she feels as if it's an endless competition i don't know i could guess but that's just me all right but we're going to be seeing her around lots of family all right there's a large a very heavy sense of devotion that she's going to be surrounded by people that's devoted to her um to the ends of time this weekend um and throughout the her 30th year okay and she's also going to be um enjoying her fruits the fruits of her labor so we're going to get a rune message for her this is going to be a very quick reading i'm not going to stay here too long so we're going to get a rune message for her so let's shake it up as you guys can see i've had this bag these runes for like three years love them though gotten a lot of helpful messages for people as well as for myself when it comes to these rooms. So let's see. Let's shake them up and see what is in store for Miss SG. So we have this one here. So I'm just gonna pick one, just overall, just one rune message, okay? And this is the one that she has. This is the rune, but it's actually this, it's meant to be this way. And this rune is all about the breakthroughs, okay? The breakthroughs in her life. The traditional message for the breakthrough rune is all about um, the day thinking about the day. It's all about God's light. It's all about prosperity and fruitfulness. What bitch, weren't we just saying one of the messages that I wrote down here for her word, enjoying the fruits of her labor. So there's gonna be some breakthroughs in regards to her fruitfulness. Let's read the message from the book here for the rune, breakthroughs, transformations, and day. Here is the final rune belonging to the cycle of initi initiation. Drawing dagas often signals a major shift or breakthrough in the process of self change and complete transformation in attitude. A 180 degree turn for some, the transition is so radical that they are no longer able to live the ordinary life in the ordinary way. Because the timing is right, the outcome is assured, although not from the present vantage point predictable. In each life, there comes at least one moment which, if recognized and seized, transforms the course of that life forever. Rely 
therefore on radical trust even though the moment may call for you to leap empty-handed into the void with this rune your warrior nature reveals itself a major period of achievement and prosperity is often introduced by this rune the darkness is behind you daylight has come nevertheless you are reminded not to collapse yourself into thoughts for the future or behave recklessly in your new situation considerable hard work can be involved in, in a time of transformation undertake to do it joyfully well all right then. let's expand on this room okay the breakthrough room let's get some messages for her birthday weekend i guess i should say show me her energies Friends and colleagues, okay, people. Like I said, she's being surrounded by a lot of people who are devoted to her this weekend, okay? And we have the number three. It's so funny because I think in the last reading we were saying that three is very important. The number three, 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 three is everywhere. And that's all about manifestation. We have deception. We have deception, we have events, deception, we have intention, back and forth, seesaw. And also, so, damn girl, so she's still dealing with this shit this weekend? Deception? The last reading that we that I did on her, I spoke about her having to make a, a decision that she wasn't really wanting to make with this back and forth card coming out. Yeah, it did take some time for her to uh, make that decision because she didn't want to make that decision because of the person who she needed to cut ties with. And at the bottom of the deck, at the bottom of the deck, we have intention playing it safe. But sometimes you can't play safe though. But is she going to be playing it safe this weekend for her 30th birthday? Give me the overall energies. Give me her overall energies. Oh, sweet Jesus, girl. We have consciousness of lack this weekend, right? And look at this. It's a heart. And look what's in the middle of the heart. It's money, right? And how many times have I told you guys, regardless if she wants to... If she wants to put love on the back burner and just focus on money, girl, money ain't going to hold you. Money ain't going to tell you sweet things. Granted, you can always buy someone and pay them by the hour for them to tell you that those said sweet things, but baby girl. And it's funny because the money is a thunderstorm on the money. So getting this money wasn't easy. Though she has money, she feels as if it's not enough. Though she has these people, she's being surrounded by people, it's not enough. She's still missing something. And what is that something? Love, what, 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 love, what, 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 love. I need love and affection. But we have fear here. She ain't ready for it yet. She ain't ready for it. She ain't ready for that true love. She's not ready for that true love energy. She's, even though she wants it, she knows it's missing. She ain't ready for it. Sis is scared out of her mind for that love. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right. We have stuck energy. In the mud energy. Stuck. Now the bottom of the deck, we have family here. Three kids, four kids. One's up in the sky. Three right here. So say what you want. But I did a reading um, two years ago on this channel about Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez's child that they had together. They had a child together and they did that child is in heaven their child is in heaven okay so i wouldn't be shocked these are the three kids that she is going to have but in reality she has four she has four but one's in heaven but also with a family card too at the bottom of the deck a stuck energy with family with this rainbow right here it's bringing me back to the um the Ten of Cups card that I have in this deck, there is a huge rainbow above the Ten of Cups 
um, card. And that's all about happiness. But even though this is giving the illusion of happiness this weekend, she's still feeling stuck. This fear is keeping her stuck. This fear is giving her, is giving her the, um, is making her feel as if like she is lacking something. But this, even though she knows she is lacking something with this back and forth, she's not sure if she should dive into it or not. Even though she knows she wants to, she wants it, but she's scared. And that goes back to the breakthrough. Maybe once she does cross over and she, well, let me not say cross over because cross over is like, she's dead. But that's not what I mean. Once she becomes 30, let's give her, let's give her a couple months. Okay, let's give her a couple months for her to stop this back and forth energy and with this fear. This energy that's causing her to go back and forth is all fear that's keeping her stuck in her heart chakra. Okay, sis, we got to do something about that. <laughs> Most definitely got to do something about that. But not only does she feel stuck in her love life, she feels stuck with family members as well. Certain family members. There's something popping off, popping off in the house of Gomez, y'all. Behind the closed doors. Okay, there's shit popping off. I got real shit popping with my family too. What's that Dre song? I got real shit popping with my family too. It says she love me, but she don't really love me. Believe me, believe me. I'm the only that's popping in the streets. Let's see, show me the energies for Selena Gomez for her birthday weekend. Show me her energies. We have the fates, okay? The fates, counting on a star. All right, we have six, we have 17 at the bottom of the deck, we have 16. All that glitter ain't gold, okay? We're going back to the illusion. There's an illusion that she's winning, but she's really not. She's really not. Just like with this money, she has all this money, so she should be feeling victorious, right? That's how the people around her perceive her to be as winning, though she, but to her, she's not winning. She's lacking the one thing that she feels money can't ever buy. And that's love, whoop, 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 love, whoop, whoop, whoop. I need love and affection. So we have the fates, fate, karma, acceptance that there are things you cannot change and knowing what those things are. The serenity prayer sums up the meaning of this card. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There are things in life you will never have control over. The conditions brought on by the evolution of the collective, by nature, and by your past experiences may be fated. Preordained by spirit for the greater purpose you cannot understand is this understand in this lifetime it may not be in your cards to understand why certain events occurred you can accept the mystery and work with what those events and your current circumstances have to teach you this is the wisdom contained in the serenity prayer let's get one more card for her energies for this weekend she, i mean damn she's gonna be around people but she i don't really feel like she's gonna be damn girl this is like gonna ring in your dirty 30 god damn bitch mm. give me the energy for selena gomez we have physical body here all right and fruits fruits of labor fruits at the bottom of the couple physical body are you gonna give me we have physical body celebrating in a physical realm physical form okay it's gonna be a weekend of celebration for her we have den denial again on the 22nd wow her birthday's on the 22nd she's gonna be in denial about something though people are celebrating her and everyone around her is happy and they're trying to make her feel the same way she doesn't feel that way she's not really all that excited or in the mood to celebrate her birthday i don't know why Girl. what's up luna <laughs> then we have partnerships and love hello partnerships and love two 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 we have gifts okay this one in y'all see that what is this card discontent she's going to have she's finally going to be breaking through the discontention of her life she's probably going to finally figure out why she feels so discontent 
discontented in her life when there's so many things that she, she should be grateful for. We have victory at the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a successful weekend, but it's not going to be for her in a sense. Granted, she's grateful that she's seeing another year in her life, but at the same time, she's not, she's not all that there. We have peace. We have, ooh, bitch, mending a soulmate relationship. Girl, I don't got the time. So that's good, though. That I would take that, that the breakthrough is her finally no longer feeling discontented with her life, feeling happier. I like that. I'll take that. Give me a message for Selena Gomez for tomorrow, for her birthday weekend, I should say. Give me a message. We have love, whoop, 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 love. Oh, shit. We have failure. Oh, girl. We have failure. And that goes back to the card understanding that there are things that I cannot change and the things that failed they were just meant to fail and we have gratitude at the bottom of the deck just be grateful girl be grateful that you can see another year some people weren't even grateful to see today so don't be focusing so hard on the failure you can't do anything about that all you can do is just focus on tomorrow clarify failure we have blame We have great, god damn. This is her energies for tomorrow. Then we have denial again. We have adversity, but by adversity. We have patience, bitch. Like I see, I told y'all. These three cards, you you tell me, you trying to know whole dirty 30 and you you thinking about your failures, you thinking about you you blaming yourself, your blame is causing you grief, bitch, you in denial about shit still, you facing adversity. All that glitters ain't gold. I told y'all, all that glitters ain't gold. This peace ain't really it. She this is not gonna be a peaceful weekend for her girl. It wasn't even a peaceful week for sis. Damn. So, if y'all see her out here, Graham, etc., all that glitters ain't gold. She ain't really, she's not happy. She ain't there. She ain't there. We have winter cold. Feeling cold, brisk, nigga. Cold to the touch. We have father. Ooh. We have fake money and we have narc alert. Girl. Either her father was born in the winter months or the relationship with her father isn't all that great. And maybe some shit is popping off with her father this weekend on her birthday, maybe even that's causing these these emotions because i'm just like girl how is your birthday weekend and you even if you're not doing shit like how are we in this energy right here and remember i was singing that drake song i got real shit popping with my family too yeah i'm telling you there's some shit that's just gonna be happening this entire weekend with her family and i feel as if like what happened with her family that started at the beginning of this week is seeping into her birthday weekend she's supposed to be happy she's going to give us that happiness face but all that glares ain't gold sis this sis is struggling <laughs> mentally emotionally sis is struggling for real for real sis is in it she is on one she is on one okay give me one more message we have actor, exactly, but she is such a great actor, right? She knows how to put on a smile and make you believe it. But she got family problems, and I don't even think a party is going to help her. She Hopefully, she gets to go away. We have king status. We have mother, some bitch. So her parents, or her mom, her parents, or her father, the stepdaddy, king status social media so are we there's probably going to be someone who probably one of the guys that work with her i don't see why they wouldn't do that but he's a king status when it comes to the acting world either stephen martin or that other old guy that she works with is going to be wishing her a happy birthday on instagram um but there's something going on with that family though yo 
there's something going on with her family like real shit to the point where it's just like it's my birthday and I'm being told I can't cry. I can't cry because it's my birthday. It's my birthday and I'll cry if I want to. But I'm being told I can't cry. What is this? Show me the overall energies for Selena Gomez for her birthday weekend. Show me the overall energies for her birthday. We have Ace of Wands. So that's really good though. We this The Ace of Wands is all fire energy. Now at the bottom of the deck, we have a young water cup. So there's her sign right there. So it's all about creating new beginnings. This is all about the spirit, okay? And this is all about creative strength, okay? This is all about um, beginnings as well. This is all about um, courage. Courage, her courage, having the courage to create a new beginning for herself. This is a new chapter. She's turning 30. This is a new chapter that she wants to create and create the right way, the way that she's always imagined right the way that she's always imagined and this is inspiration as well give me one more card clarify ace of wands Ooh, but she is not balanced at all sis she is not balanced at all sis look at the bottom of the deck king of pentacles knight of wands quick money but the money someone is holding all this money hoarding the money though she's getting she's getting her wishes of the money coming in but there's questions about the money from these cards questions about the money she with the money that's coming in she should be in this king status this is just coming through this i don't know <laughs> this is correlating to the unbalance she should be in the king king of pentacles status i mean because the money is coming in left and right for her from what we see i mean the bitch is constantly doing something but we have the four of pentacles here this is speaking about luxury someone that's in luxury due to them um to their to their to their financial success but also this is someone that's holding on tightly to funds okay someone that's holding on tightly to funds but with the nine of cups this is someone getting their wish fulfillment but i feel as if like she she might not be she might not know the extent of this king of pentacles because she's in this page baby clarify the ten of clarify the temperance in reverse because there's no balance here we have the king of swords the institution challenge insecure is things moving too quickly for her it could be that challenging an ethical leader this is king the king of swords here this is someone that is ethical which is always good oh this is also diplomacy a diplomat a diplomatic energy intellectual is someone is is, is someone challenged for making her feel challenged about her intellect remember though she she's speaking about mental health and stuff like that she's also i've noticed that she's also been trying to creep into the whole vote politicking situation and whatnot she just needs to be careful with that because granted you know she's using her platform for 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 spreading awareness because she does have a large platform and i hate when people have large platforms and all they speak about is bullshit and take photos of bullshit all day and just make the the next generation just literally they're 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 dumb right so she is using her platform for good but i feel as if like there's some people that see her coming into their arena and i honestly feel as if like this is the political arena and that's this is a challenge for her she's insecure about it and i feel whoever this king of swords is that's highly favored in this said arena is gonna be coming at her neck just like just like candace owens came at cardi b's neck like what i don't know where that came from but that most definitely had to mean something but to be honest with you her overall energy is for her for her birthday weekend it's not all that it's not all that hot to be honest with you she's gonna be out here we're gonna be seeing her on social media of course but she ain't happy because there's real sh there's shit happening behind the scenes that 
it's just it's making it hard for her to be happy though she's going to try her best to be happy this weekend to celebrate her 30th birthday this sis ain't happy bro show me give me an inspirational message we have cheerfulness it is spring again the earth is like a child that knows poems by heart she's gonna try her best to be happy this weekend but well, maybe it's one of those days. Maybe everything it, that's just is happening so fast. It's one of those days. We have Snapdragon, graciousness and benevolence. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Like I said, that platform shit. But I feel somebody's going to be trying her. Someone in the political arena because she's out here talking about voting she's you know she's one of those celebrities that's um been invited to the white house to sit down with kamala and talk about um to talk about bullsh to talk about shit I'm not saying that what she's doing is bullshit i commend what she's doing right but it's just like there's always going to be that person that's in the political the, that's in the political arena that does not like the fact that celebrities are speaking about things they shouldn't be speaking about but I digress because sis is literally talking about how you should vote, granted, but I'm not listening to you, Selena, because you sided with all the bitch ass motherfuckers that said to go vote for, for, for fucking Joe Biden and motherfuckers been dead since he been in office. How did I vote for that hoe? Because I knew he wasn't going to do shit regardless. I didn't vote for anyone. I never vote. But at least with Trump being in office, bitch, I had more money in my pocket. <laughs> Just saying. Because last time I checked, money rules the world. And last time I checked, I'm not going to let a white man tell me if I don't vote for him, then I'm not black, motherfucker. And you can quote me on that. He did say that. Okay, so for all y'all that did vote for Joe Biden, <laughs> this shit is all your fault. <laughs> Pat yourself on back. Okay, because it's your fault. And for all the black people that voted for Joe Biden, even though he literally said out of his mouth, if you don't vote for me, you're not black, my nigga. Why am I? No. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, I'm going to leave this here though, guys. She's going to try her best to be happy this weekend. She really is. She's going to surround herself with company in the physical that is going to try to push her to be happy. But she, she's not here mentally. There's a lot of stuff that is still plaguing her mind that happened beforehand at the beginning of this week that she just can't just turn off because it's her birthday. No, it's still going to be affecting her. So until next time, y'all, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button and peace and love y'all.